conflict in Virgins. An event tonight called Rethinking Transgenderism features a speaker who transitioned in his youth and later detransitioned and now advocates for adults not to affirm others' gender identities. Channel 3's Rachel Mann is outside Virgins High School where a counter event is taking place now. Rachel, what prompted this response? Kat, this event that you can see behind me was organized by a lot of student leaders and community organizations. As you can tell, the crowd here is quite big and it is only growing larger. There is some law enforcement here to make sure nothing happens, but both groups have pretty much said they're just going to stay away from each other. The group that you see right here says their big focus is celebrating trans joy. We chatted with Amanda Rodenberg from Outright Vermont Tuesday morning about the event inside that is not school sanctioned. She says people choosing to detransition is very rare and not everyone has the same journey. Rodenberg says this type of conversation, especially in a school environment, only encourages others to be hateful. So to have a community group coming into the very school that young people are required to attend every day, to say that they are bad or wrong or that they shouldn't exist and don't belong there is so deeply harmful. The speaker is being hosted by the group Parents Rights to Education who describe themselves as advocates for parents to make decisions regarding their children's schooling. No one from Parents Rights to Education was available for an interview prior to the event happening, but sent a statement saying in part, Public schools are teaching minors controversial content without parent knowledge or permission. Going on to say, parents also have a right to influence school policy and protect their children from controversial subjects, which many consider to be age inappropriate and not medically accurate, even dangerous. Addison Northwest Superintendent Sheila Soul issued a statement to the community saying their policy allows any group, regardless of beliefs, to use the facilities, but goes on to say, quote, the perspectives proposed by the organizers of the forthcoming event are not in harmony with the vision and mission of the district. We will persist in educating and supporting students in a manner that celebrates diversity and upholds the principles of equity. I also reached out to the Agency of Education to see what guidance they provide schools on letting people use their facilities. They say it's entirely up to the school districts as long as it's not posing any security issues. Live in Virgin's Rachel Mann, Channel 3 News.